Oh, welcome everyone to Podium Super Up. Podium is a super achiever led educational platform for co curricular content taught by the world's best teachers. Also, the courses we will be launching shortly are contemporary dance, drama, calligraphy, logical reasoning, blogging, animation, creative writing, and public speaking. These programs will be taught by the world's best teachers, and we look forward to seeing you participate in those programs. Also, guys, please follow our Facebook page, that's facebook.com slash podium classes, for regular updates and recorded sessions. We have with us Ms. Sumedha Mahajan. Ms. Sumedha is a management graduate and financial professional, but she found her calling after completing a grueling 30 day run from Delhi to Mumbai. She has a Limca record and several other national records in her name. She has also penned down her story in her book, Miles to Run Before I Sleep, which is now becoming a motion picture by Bollywood. Her journey has been covered by many leading newspapers and magazines. And in addition to all this, she has also started the first ever women high impact sportswear brand, Break Free. Ms. Sumedha is an author, entrepreneur, speaker, and most importantly, an inspiration. On behalf of Team Podium, I would like to thank Ms. Sumedha for taking out time for this session. Welcome, ma'am. Over to you. Thank you, uh, Simran, for kind introduction. And uh, so I would like to share the screen with you across the India and overseas as non-stop in around 100 and 14 hours. I am also an ex lawyer lawn tennis player. Uh, I'm sure many of you must have heard love lawn tennis and would have watched Australia, Australian French Open, which happened. Must be wondering that, wow, madam must be born with the, you know, I must be talented and I'm born with it, isn't it? But my dear kids, I was not. Do you think I'm born athlete, right? So, but the truth is I am not. I am born with asthma. So I don't know if you, many of your kids are out there have problem like me. So you might be relating that again it's rained and the weather is bad and nights become very difficult to sleep. So when you're born with asthma, you're always sick and your lungs are weak, it's difficult to breathe. Running is impossible. Uh, then I have always used to fall sick very often because I was a weak, I had a low immunity. So I was a very sick child. I used to miss school so often that I had always the backlog lectures. And because I used to fall sick very often, you know, I, teachers used to make me sit on the back bench because I used to cough and sneeze so much that nobody kids wanted to learn with me. And because as I was a backbencher and I was not treated equally, so in my school, you know, it happens. If you have a class, you have a cough or sneeze, then you have to go away from your children. You don't have to get an infection. So, that's the same way with my children. And because of that, I had lack of confidence. I, you know, I could not even ride cycle. I learned cycling at the age of 10. And I'm hearing kids right now, you guys saying that you all know cycling. But, you know, I learned cycling at the age of 10. And that also with the balance wheel, you know, some may tobu cycle aata tha, you know, just made balance wheels hote. I started, uh, you know, riding cycle uh, through that. And because of that, I was a slow learner and I was shy kid. I did not have friends in my life. So lockdown was like a part of my life when I was growing up. And teachers and the parents will always say, Ki, Sumedha to bima rehti hai. So they didn't want their child to mingle with me. So imagine my childhood was not very lucrative as right now I sound. They used to call me Dadi Ma because I was But, you know, there's something happened in my life that changed me. I have a sis elder sister and younger brother. And I gained a motivation because I, my father once came to know that I am unwell, you know, and I am not uh, given up in my life. And I was not a very friendly child, very close child. So once I went to play lawn tennis, my father was a lawn tennis, uh, is a lawn tennis player. And he introduced me, my sister and younger brother to tennis. But my sister became, was amazingly intelligent. She was a normal child. My brother was also a normal child. They were healthy kids. 
unlike me they never fell ill so they were very good in tennis in fact they were also good in studies much better than i was and so my father once realized that i am not don't have confidence and he took me to the tennis court to play to coach ne waha pe mujhe training karane se mana kar diya he said that sumedha does not has stamina so we cannot train her and my father felt very bad i kept crying that day when i came back home i said papa am i so bad that even teachers don't want to train me so my father next day decided that he's going to train me but when my father started training me ab bacche ko kuch nahi aata to parents jitna marzi kar le nahi na aa sakta to phir mere father ne bhi dheere dheere mere pe give up karna shuru kar diya to ek din unhone bhi socha ki shayad isko aa hi nahi sakta tennis but phir kya hua jiske karan maine national lawn tennis fair bani uske baad 28 years ki umar mein jaake maine i started running and i became a writer how come i reach this level was a thing so i drive my motivation to three people in my life and another thing was books so the first was wilma rudolph i'm sure aapke sare parents ko wilma rudolph ke bare mein pata hoga because she is one of the most inspirational women in the world do you know my dear kids she won gold medal in olympics three gold medal first american can black woman to win three gold medals in olympic in 1960 and her story inspired me so when i stopped training and my father had given up so there was a class lecture just like i am giving a lecture there was a coach who came to our school and he gave away the lecture and he told me about wilma rudolph and i was like ye wilma rudolph kon hai so he this girl wilma rudolph the ex ex olympian was born with polio aapko pata hai polio in a quarterly and this girl had a smock she used to wear braces in her life. and the trons hung hands used to wear those braces similarly she was born uh, wearing the the braces am i uh, she was born wearing the braces in her legs and she could not walk but what happened she started walking at the age of 12 can you beat it the girl who was could not walk her life wore braces she started walking only at the age of 12 and how because just like her she also had three siblings who were very good in sports they were very good basket players basketball players and every time she would see her brother sisters play she would want to duck the ball you know basketball mein basket karte hain ball and she wanted to do it but she could never and whenever she would try everybody would make fun of her so what she used to do was ki jab sab chale jaate the she would alone at night go to the basketball ground and try to court the ball and that's how one day her father saw her doing that and they were impressed she wanted to remove her braces and strike duck it and that story inspired me because she never gave up she learns walking at the age of 12 and my dear kids you know what at the age of 16 1956 16 us time pe jab itna zyada racism tha the black line matters wagera kuch nahi tha she won bronze medal in olympics and she still didn't give up she went next year four years down the line she won three gold medals so this woman changed my life and i realized if she can do it at the age of 12 i'm still 8 and i have legs so what i can't breathe so i started playing tennis just like her i started training tennis when nobody was there in the court my sister and my brother would be coming and they will be playing with every will be playing and practicing i would go be hide and in the dark and will practice on one corner sometimes i would play with a plastic ball and a wooden racket just to make sure i train but when i came back i came back as a winner and i realized i was not great i started my father's sister was not great. my father noticed that i'm trying hard so five years qualified level and he said that you have much more give up then was vishwanathan anand he i realized ki jab i'm so many of kids you can relate this 
सांस चढ़ जाता है एंड कमरे में बंद रहते हैं एंड यू कॉन्ट डू मेनी थिंग्स सो विश्वनाथन आनंद वॉज इन अदर एथलीट जिसने मेरी लाइफ बदल दी यू नो चेस I'm sure everybody has heard about chess, and Vishwanathan Anand is the one man who made first grand master, and he started uh, playing chess only at the age of eight. So remember, if you all are eight year olds, it's a magical year. You know, you can achieve anything uh, once you turn eight. So he started playing at the age of eight, and you know who was his coach? His mother. Who was a housewife, and he learned it from here. And he was just twenty years old. He was hardly in nineteen eighty-eight where one grand slam and what now? Is before, kisi ko chess ka pata bhi hi nahi tha. Him, I started realizing myself. So what I'm not good in books, or so what I'm not good. I can also work hard. But I realized, so what if it's not here, and then the other corner comes. And as I started growing ahead, I failed so many times. I was still. Ah, uh, Shamida. Confidence game. I, I started playing a game confidence game, and from that venture, I was the level back, and then. in my life changed when the william sisters come i remember the william sisters because she are exactly they both were like my sisters well me and my sister we are exactly one year age gap difference and these two sisters were exactly like this one both of them had a one year age gap i said they were called william sisters and in punjab me and my sister are known as mahajan sisters in tennis because these girls told me i remember i cannot forget the match of 2000 i was still in 9th standard 9th and 10th standard when the entire globe entire television us time when we used to have a cable network now you have tata sky and all but there used to be city cable a wire used to come and it was fitted had only few more channels other than now you have 100 channels but there used to be one star sport channel in at night the matches would come and there was wimbledon coming and the venus the elder sister was playing like she was like jokovic like you know jokovic the best example and she was as brilliant and she won won the first ever wimbledon uh, i don't remember i think it was against um, maria kochakov and serena the in same year she won she defeated steffi graf and the world went crazy and everyone and you know when the interview came everywhere they were, you know what these girls sisters said we were black we are different and that's why we won and that's when i realized that i might not be the some one who is normal or who's it or who's born with it if they can do it so why can't i and william was again just 20 years old again a magical number that she wore uh, just like all the past three she was so many of me aapko I still uh, have. So guys, I guess the Medha network is just facing some issues. We will just wait for a moment for her. And all the participants who are in the chat box, just for the purpose of annoying others, you can kindly leave the session and not disturb others. Uh, so Medha, ma'am, are you there? Yeah, I am there. Yeah. Very uh, so Medha, uh, <laughs> so Medha, ma'am, actually, your network is uh, just fluctuating in between. So the video is breaking and freezing. Okay. 
is it fine now better better okay one second Is it okay? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Now it's fine. Yeah. Okay. So I just tell me, Simran, where did I? You guys miss me out at? Um, uh, ma'am, actually, it was freezing a lot in between. So till Vishwanathan sir, it was clear, and then it started freezing in between. Okay. So we will go back to William sisters. So I'm sure everybody has heard about William sisters. Okay. So um, I remember uh. I, when I started playing, I had just qualified for uh, state level by the time I was 14, 15. I started playing in eight, and it took me so many years to reach there. And in 2000, I was I, in ninth standard, I guess, ninth or tenth. And, uh, and when the Venus Williams, uh, in the month of June, won a Wimbledon against the White, she was the first ever black woman to reach to that level. And that, in you know, an in interview had come about the Williams sisters, you know. Her and Serena Williams. Ki apne bhi kaise jeeta? You had come from so much racism. You look different. You're not like your bodies are not as beautiful. They, you know, most of the times they always uh, talk bad about black. Hair. But the sister said we won because we were different. And when I heard that interview, I remember I told myself if these sisters can do, they are different. I am born different. So it means I can also do, and you know what? William, Venus William was also 20 when she won her first Wimbledon, and Serena Williams, her younger sister, 2001, who again won the Wimbledon against Steffi Graf, which is known to be the worst, world's biggest match. Steffi Graf, who said before, 13 titles won. People said that Steffi Graf was not born to kill Steffi Graf, and she was a black woman. At the age of 20, she defeated the world champion who was continuously winner for 13 years. And then I thought I can also do it. I might, might not be good, but I told myself, Chalo, mere paas saal to hai, to main tak 20 hongi, I'll achieve something in life. And believe me, I started working towards that. Then I started focusing towards myself in the books. I started focusing on my books. Let me tell you, I was not good in studies, okay? I was an average student, but once I started focusing my books, my maths was very big. It was very weak. My history, my geography, my English was super nice. Hindi was fair, Bhagwan ke bharose pass kar dena. And because I was in Punjab, so we had to study Punjabi. That was another difficult subject to all together. But when it came to my other curricular activities like declamation, like debates, like essay writings, I was on the top. I remember there was a school national, CBSE school, school nationals, and I participated in a declamation contest. And my topic was working parents have problem children. And I won my first ever uh, prize that year was not in tennis, but in declamation context because of books. It's not always one thing, but you can do whatever if you do not give up. The same girl who was a pad bencher, I'm in middle mein thi, I'm in front row mein thi. I remember every teacher will say, Sumeda, you sit in the front row. You are in a, and he, the same parents will say, Ki Sumeda ke saath dosti nahi karni but now saying, Ki chalo Sumeda ke saath dosti ho. And I saw the transition happening. But this did not happen because I did it myself. It was because I looked for motivation. Motivation. We all must be motivation is nothing but a hunger to be somebody. And I'm sure every one of you out there who is coming, who is attending, who is attending this lecture or up her, uh, rose attend, I'm sure you all want to be somebody. And believe me, ek din aap bano de. But up is transformation. Se mujhe kya mila? So when I learned in my life through books and through sports is you must believe in yourself. Children, you will fail so much in your life. People will say, Are tujhe kuch nahi aada, tu nahi janti, tu sab kuch bhi kahe. But aapko apne pe vishwaas hai. Do you have heard the story about, uh, I'm sure sabne suni hogi, 
कछुए और खरगोश की कहानी वेर दे गो फॉर द रेसिंग एन ही सेज कछुआ कम्स यू नो वेन चैलेंजेस रैपिड तो सारे हंसते अरे तू ने इसको कैसे चैलेंज कर दिया तू तो हार जाएगा इट्स अ रैपिड एंड रैपिड इज सो पोस्टी और मैं ही जीतूंगा ये कछुआ कहाँ मेरे आगे टिकेगा एंड सो ही डजेंट ट्रेन इन ऑल बट कछुआ रोज ट्रेनिंग करता था इवन बिफोर द इवन शी वुड ट्रेन सो हार्ड और जिस दिन रनिंग रेसिंग इवेंट होता है खरगोश सो जाता है बीच में क्योंकि वो ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट होता है कि वो जीतेगा but in the end the tortoise win you know why tortoise win it was was not that he was uh, he was a great runner he believed in himself when he challenged rabbit usko tab se apne pe vishwas vishwas tha ki main kar sakta hu and that's why they say aap apne pe vishwas rakhte ho aap koi bhi mountain char sakte ho theek hai usi tarah mere se aata wahi ladki jo kamre mein band thi mummy cycle chalana 11 saal ki umar 10 saal ki shuru mein kiya और वो भी uh, मतलब स्पोर्ट के साथ मैंने एक्चुअली साइकिलिंग uh, 12 साल की उम्र में एट द एज ऑफ 12 आई एक्चुअली स्टार्टेड राइडिंग अ गर्ल हु कुड नॉट रन इवन फॉर 5 और 550 मीटर वाज नाउ एबल टू रन 1500 किलोमीटर वाज ओली बिकॉज़ आई डिड नॉट लिसन टू एनीबॉडी बट आई बिलीव्ड इन माय सेल्फ सो माय डियर किड्स व्हेन यू गो आउट देयर इन दिस वर्ल्ड पीपल विल टेल यू दैट यू कैन नॉट डू इट बट लिसन टू नन If you practice, you will win. And then, I have been like say, one thing I have learned: do not be afraid of failure. You know, um, Simran told it that I have written a book called "My Book Is Miles to Run Before I Sleep." Do you know it's right now becoming a bar- motion picture by Bollywood horror movie? But do you know, this book, fourteen publishing houses rejected this book. They said, "Oh, Sumedha is nobody." and i was rejected by 14 big publishing houses they said this book will not do good but i had faith in myself i still went ahead and then the book was launched i when the book was launched in 2015 the book was written in 2012 and it was launched in 2015 and it was hit overnight i did not had money to do the book launch the yet the book was listed as the forbes of uh, authors to watch out in 2015 so believe me do not be afraid of failures failures are the part of success and you will learn from it is a uh, success i did not qualify for so many tennis you know uh, matches every time my sister and my brother will go and get selected for the national team but they would always be rejected it was only at the age of 17 can you beat it i started playing at 8 it took me exact how many years it took me 11 years to reach at this level when i was able 9 years to get selected and but i worked hard more i had to work more hard but i did not give up so my kids do not worry about failures if you fail it means tomorrow you are going to succeed acha to aaj agar gir jao iska matlab kal khade bhi honge kal hi khade ho sakte hain and i learned that i need to try new things you know as i told you ki mujhe william uh, rudolf ke karan wilma rudolf ke karan mera mujhe confidence aaya ki main bhag sakti hu vishwanathan ke karan mujhe confidence aaya main running ke alawa baki cheeze bhi kar sakti hu so i started trying new things now i was a long tennis player till age of 19 but then when i started doing mba i left my job i left my sports i started focusing on my job i started running back again only at the age of 28 because i life had taken a turn and i started running only and during that time and it was only at the age of 28 that i ran from delhi 29 when i ran to delhi to bombay and i just had started running uh, in 2010 so after a gap of 6 7 years i was back again trying new things from a lawn tennis player i became singer i started singing i became a declamation i started become a motivational speaker and i also became an author because i did not stop trying new things so my dear kids if you like running then you must try cycling as well and if you like cycling you must try one any new thing like carrom board or if you like football then you must even try the basketball or a rugby try new things because more you learn new things you expand your horizon of achieving your goals you know and your fitness level increases so my what are my tips during this lockdown and during this quarantine period now you've told you is and now i'll tell you how i achieved so many things 
इन माय लाइफ हाउ कम सडनली एट इयर्स की उम्र पे मुझे ऐसी जादू की पूरी क्या मिल गई कि मैं नहीं चाह कि पढ़ाई में भी अच्छी हो गई मेरा सडनली दिमाग कैसे चलना शुरू हो गया वही बैक बेंचर से मिडल में टॉप पे कैसे पहुंची सो आई एम गोन शेयर यू थ्री टिप्स जो मुझे दिए गए थे जिसके कारण मैं आज जो कुछ हूँ उनके कारण एंड आई एम श्योर इफ इम्प्लीमेंट यू विल बी द सेम so the first is uh, keep it simple before sitting with your books do exercise 15 to 10 to 15 minutes and try thinking about the subject you are studying to kya hota tha ki mera i never used to remember jo pada bhul jana matlab concentration level zero hota tha to meri tuition lagwai thi mama ne uh, iski history ki tuition lagwai thi and i could not remember history mein numbers yaar mein 18 and then start studying and i had always wondered that why so but i realized that every time i did that mujhe jo kuch padti thi mujhe yaad rehta tha and my focus became good so next time if you are not able to study do this believe me it works theek hai and suppose aap kuch kuch yaad rehta hai padhne ke baad to yaad rehta hai par thodi der baad bhul jata hai to aapne kya karna hai you must walk After पढ़ने के बाद दस मिनट या पंद्रह मिनट ट्राई टू डू सम एक्सरसाइज लाइक यू कैन वॉक और यू कैन यू नो प्ले विद बॉल यू नो ड्रिबेल द बॉल दीवारों पर बस बॉल मार देना की बॉल दीवार गंदी हो जाए मम्मी डांते बस प्ले विद बॉल और स्क्वीज अ बॉल और गो फॉर अ सिंपल वॉक इन साइड द रूम ही चाहे जो भी हो कमरे में करो और जो कुछ पढ़ा है think about that and believe me you will never forget even if you won't remember right now but in your subconscious mind during your exam or you're sitting everything will start flowing as if it was never forgotten and remember your grades will improve why these two tips are so important for uh, you know for not only for the brain mental development and physical development is because both of them increase your cardiovascular activity and when your heart beat and your blood flow increases to so aapki remembrance achhi rehti hai आपका फोकस अच्छा रहता है जितनी बार आप सीढ़ियां चढ़ते हो और आप अपना कोई भी सब्जेक्ट याद ना हो कभी भी अगर कोई चीज याद ही रहती है आप सीढ़ियां चढ़ना शुरू कर दो और अपनी बुक पकड़ के बस वो सोचो कि मैंने सब्जेक्ट में क्या था आपको सब याद रहेगा सो फॉर मी दिस हेल्प मी क्योंकि मैं तो लेक्चर्स बहुत मिस करती थी स्कूल में छुट्टियाँ बहुत लगती थी बट दीज टू एक्चुअली हेल्प मी इंक्रीज माई ग्रेड्स एंड सो मच सो दैट आई इन कस्ट टू आई वॉज एबल टू क्लियर माई प्री मेडिकल टेस्ट एग्जाम ऑल्सो विद द फ्लाइंग कलर्स then the third step is laugh 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 oh it is what a miracle medicine ha 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 keep doing this jab tension lage jab gussa aaye kisi dost pe mummy pe papa pe bhaiya pe didi pe ya koi friend ne chala teacher pe gussa ki yaad kuch nahi start laughing what happens is again it increases your blood flow and you start doing better in your life they say na the laughter is a bed man medicine and does works wonder sometimes for stress so kuch yaad nahi hota start laughing cycling kar rahe ho khub hasna shuru kar do zor se aap dekho ki suddenly aapki cycling aur running ki speed badh jati hai so that's one of the reasons when je 1500 km mein itni dard thi mujhe bahut injuries hui aur kya kya hua wo maine book mein mention kiya hai then you will want to get bigger up so um, तो मैं क्या करती थी मैं रनिंग के बीच में जोर जोर से आपके पास वाले जो होते पागल है बट वेन एवर आई डिट आई बिकेम मेरी पेन्स कम हो जाती थी एंड आई वॉज एबल टू पुश फर्दर सो यू मस्ट लाफ बाई योर डूइंग सम एंड द लास्ट इज यू हैव टू प्ले वन स्पोर्ट इन विच यू कैन कम्पीट इफ यूर रनिंग और इफ यू आर यू नो इफ यू डू साइकिलिंग एंड इफ यू कैरम बोर्ड ओली एंड इफ यू लाइक ट्राई टू टेक अ कम्पीट इन एट बिकॉज whenever you compete in some physical activity you improve your focus your confidence level increases you are able to face the things in your life better even if you like chess 
play it but also try to you know participate in small small competitions you might lose maine kaha na failure se darna nahi failure hai to uska matlab success zarur hai next step is a success so you must try doing these things <coughs> and i remember if i did not have played tennis main aaj runner nahi ban sakti main runner bani kyunki maine sports ke liye i did learn very early ki mujhe because of my tennis and i played i became a good runner might be i became at the age of 28 means 20 saal baad i started i became somebody known but i became because i played sport i learned the art of competition and not giving up so in the end i think uh, i'll just give a few notes remember my kids there are no shortcuts in life you have to work hard everyone takes time to reach their goals even sachin tendulkar has taken time everyone takes time i've given you enough examples i'm sure your parents also took enough time to reach at the success levels they have and point 2 is must practice practice makes perfect you all can also do what ever you believe in there is nothing impossible in this world they say if you practice you will always achieve and if with that practice you must have faith in yourself and in the end enjoy whatever you do if more you laugh more you enjoy more you're going to bring positive energies and success in your life remember the future depends only and only upon how you believe in yourself so i hope you believe now it now you can understand if it's possible to run 1500 kilometers and it is even possible to run wherever i want and it's even more possible to achieve whatever dream you want so that's all from my side and if you have something more to ask or say i am available thank you so much so veda ma'am it was certainly more than fitness uh thank you for the life tips you have given us i have also learned a lot yeah. and ma'am if you can just uh, tell them the facebook activity they have to post yes so um if, you know whatever questions you have so uh if you have some questions i'll answer them in your facebook activity and i am going to give you three questions or three to four questions okay who so give a gives the right answer will get this book free okay my book signed by sign book by me free okay so the first question is what is the full name of vishwanathan anand so the first question is what is the name of vishwanathan anand okay the second is where did i run 1500 kilometers from where did i run 1500 kilometers and the third question is the last question is <coughs> who was vilma rudolf who was vilma w i l m a vilma rudolf ye sare teen questions maine aaj ke session mein bole hain i hope you will remember and whoever gives the right answer in the facebook post you will get this book free from the podium guys okay <coughs> 